In bacterial cells, the transcription of a gene or group of adjacent genes called an operon is controlled by a set of proteins interacting with specific sequences in the DNA molecule, leading to the initiation of transcription and the termination of a transcript. Transcription is initiated just beyond the yellow promoter region and is terminated at the green terminator site. The sequence of the promoter at positions 35 and 10 nucleotides upstream from the transcription start site are critical to initiating transcription. In order to initiate transcription in bacteria, core RNA polymerase and sigma factor form a holoenzyme. Sigma factor recognizes the sequence of DNA at the promoter region. This holoenzyme then binds to the promoter region of the DNA molecule, forming the closed complex between RNA polymerase and the DNA molecule. By breaking hydrogen bonds between bases in the double helix, the closed complex is converted into the open complex. The formation of the RNA transcript from nucleotide triphosphates then takes place as RNA polymerase is forming the new transcript, starting at the 5' prime end of the transcript. New nucleotides are added onto the free 3' prime end. The initiation of transcription is completed when sigma factor is released. As elongation of the transcript then continues, the RNA polymerase moves down the DNA molecule and the next sequence in the chain is opened up. As RNA polymerase moves down the DNA strand, the DNA molecule entering RNA polymerase unwinds, forming the open complex, while the DNA exiting RNA polymerase rewinds to form double helix. Ribonucleotide triphosphates are added to the chain and the growing RNA transcript continues to elongate as new DNA sequence enters the open complex region. The new RNA transcript initially forms an RNA-DNA hybrid complementary to the template strand, corresponding to the sequence of the coding DNA strand. In this way, the DNA double helix is opened, transcribed, and reclosed with minimal stress on the DNA molecule. One mechanism of bacterial transcriptional termination involves the binding of the row protein to the RNA. It is a helicase that moves in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction toward the RNA polymerase. Between the row recognition site and the terminator site, a stem loop structure is formed by the sequence in this region. This stem loop structure halts the movement of RNA polymerase and the row protein then moves to the RNA polymerase complex, causing the complex to dissociate and terminating transcription, resulting in the full-length mRNA transcribed from the gene.